What is good, everybody? It is it is your boy Super Saiyan Cab, and honestly, it's almost hard to get hyped up to do this. It's almost hard to get hyped to do a video about Ribriane. Like, uh, I did not expect this, but what we're going to be taking a look at today, guys, obviously, we got the announcement of Ribriane. Yes, it is true. It is happening. We have not got the scan yet. Once we get the scan, I will have a video on that. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, she'll, maybe, maybe she'll be absolutely amazing. I, I thought... I don't know I, I, I pray i pray that at the very least she will be an amazing character even though nobody wants her. like literally nobody wants her but what we also have at the same time as you guys see on the screen is the list of her attacks now i want to give a huge huge shout out to the homies at jamatsu be sure to check them out i have the website linked down below in the description they always do a lot of work for the gaming community in general not just the anime gaming community but the gaming community all around so again be sure to check them out huge huge shout out to them again now, the first thing I want to talk about before we even take a look at the skills, I just want to take a look at the number. She has six new skills. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, pretty much. Why would they give the least wanted DLC character in existence six new skills? skills that to me is where i'm really absolutely mind blown i haven't really seen anybody talking about this yet there everybody's just so upset about the fact that she's in the game but nobody's really talking about the fact that she's getting more attacks than any other dlc character in the history of xenoverse 2 she's getting more attacks than two dlc characters combined at times like super saiyan god of vegeta is getting three brand new maybe i believe four actually four brand new attacks hopefully four it could be three one of the animations with the final flash could be linked together hopefully they are not though and we're getting four brand new moves with him but six for ribriane and only three or four for super saiyan god vegeta really you wouldn't you would think to put that work into vegeta and give him some new stuff as opposed to ribriane but now we're going to take a look at these attacks before I, I continue to talk on that subject because I, I can talk on that forever. But, taking a look at the first attack. Formation. Increases super attack strength and recovery effects by maintaining poses. Petty Cannon. Shoots heart-shaped key blasts that increase power of her Ribrian Eternal Love Ultimate Attack for each one that hits. That's kind of cool, I guess. You know, kind of different, a little bit more unique. Um, there's not really two skills that are in the game that link necessarily like that usually skills that give you a power boost it gives you a power boost in general um so that right there is kind of cool kind of unique something different in the game so i guess like i said that's kind of cool but next up we have uh pretty charge takes a unique pose to build up key yes they literally gave her her own charge up like y'all put so much work into this character you gave her her own charge really i'm so confused by this like why I just don't understand it. But moving on. Lovely Cyclone. Sucks up the opponent with a high speed spin. Additional input allows her to tackle them. Trust me. I promise you. It's not the wind that's going to be sucking them up. It's that fat old gut that's going to be sucking them up. And they're going to get stuck in there. That's the only way. Because. Still can't believe it. But. Again. Lovely Cyclone. Cyclone. Like I said. Sucks up the opponent with high speed. High speed spin. Additional input allows her to tackle them. Sounds like it could be a cool looking slash disrespectful move on the CAC. My computer just went black. Okay, maybe it didn't go black. I don't know what happened right there. Maybe it didn't go black on your screen. It went black on my screen. But the Rebrain Eternal Love is the one with the heart-shaped key blast that gets the boost from the pretty cannon. So I'm I'm really curious to how much that boost comes in effect. How many, you know, like say I hit you with pretty cannon two or three times and I hit you with a good amount of the key blast, the uh, the heart-shaped key blast, how much power increase am I truly going to get on this Ribrian Eternal Love? Like is there a certain percent increase per heart or is there a certain number increase per heart? Like a certain amount of damage, like 500 damage increase per heart landed up until you land that Ribrian Eternal Love. Really, really curious about that and curious if this Ribrian Eternal Love will be very weak on its own at the same time because that's something that is very possible as well but moving to the next move it says ribbon Rain lovely showtime strikes uh strike seven poses then emits a powerful super strengthening effect fully restoring key oh what Nani? word that's kind of crazy that's a little bit crazy right there i want okay the thing about this skill right here 
honestly this can be this this skill can be very op very broken depending on how it's implemented in this game i'm gonna tell you that right here right now because if you have the time like it's, it's all dependent on its speed if i can just hit you with a regular knockaway attack and pull this off without you being able to burst burst dash and stamina break me this move can be a problem it can be a major problem especially if they don't put a limit on it and it is that fast so if it's fast enough to where i can knock you away and you can't limit burst i mean um burst burst dash to stamina break me and it 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 can be used more than once that would be absolutely insane so i hope that they put nice limits to this move right here put a nice long animation to this move right here because again getting full key and stamina back just for knocking somebody away because you know you get a good amount of time with the knockaway attack you know usually people transform or something along those lines when they do that but people could replace that with ribbing lovely showtime which would just be absolutely game breaking again if it works the way that I just said with being fast and being able to be used multiple times so i really really hope it's slow very very slow startup very very slow animation to where you have a lot of time to hit the burst burst dash and stamina break them things along those lines because a, a move like this again it, it wow i just i just can't believe like they even thought about adding this but again fully restoring key and stamina that really really blows my mind like what that's absolutely insane again it seems like they wanted to put so much work into this character they've given her unique stuff we've never seen an ultimate that gives key and stamina regen in any kind of way shape or form i believe and then we've never seen two moves necessarily linked with each other with the pretty cannon being leaked to the ribri and eternal love like a super and ultimate link like that where the more you do with the super the more your ultimate is gonna do again we've never seen that with two specific moves where they only link with each other we've seen that with like um i forgot jiren's move where he throws the charge blast and then turns around and hits the disrespect obviously you get to boost your attacks with that and there's other moves that are like that in the game but this right here again only links with ribri and eternal love so to me it just it just blows my mind that they've made her so unique i'm happy in a sense that they made her unique at the very least if you're gonna give us this character that everybody hates at least they did seem to make her fairly unique again and at the same time though i just don't understand it like why not make super saiyan god vegeta unique why not make you know the the well broly was kind of unique with his super armor why not make like gogeta super saiyan blue gogeta extremely unique to himself instead of this character like, I, I just don't get why why her of all characters i will not be able to get it and i can go on about it literally all day but i'm gonna have a true video about just showcasing my rage my true thoughts and just how bandai truly messed up with this dlc and it went from the littest of the lit with super saiyan god vegeta to some of the lowest of the low once we had Ribrian announced so I, I will have a video for you guys on that definitely definitely stay tuned for that but let me know what you guys think about her move set right here like i said very very unique very different and at the same time she's getting six brand new skills which i really don't like i don't like that she of all characters is, is getting six brand new skills we've never seen that again in a dlc character but at the same time it is cool and it means that we're going to get a whole bunch of skills most likely for our cac just between her and super saiyan god vegeta alone there is the potential for 10 skills that we could be getting right there alone for our cac's guys so that would be fairly dope to get that many skills for our cac's but at the same time again just why her why her of all characters I truly don't understand and and i know a lot of the comments are going to be agreeing with me and saying why at the same time like why why did she get all this special privilege because the comments in the last video of the announcement video of her you know everybody like everybody was literally upset in that video in the comment section so many people were mad and i understand your frustration trust me like i said my video will be dropping fairly soon either today or tomorrow definitely stay tuned for that because I, I just i gots to get this anger out it is just ugh, it's, it's, it's 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 like erupting inside me it's like a volcano right now it's just ready to spew, spew out everywhere so i'm probably gonna get to editing this video right here so i can get this out to you guys and then get around to recording that other video so i can also get that out to you guys at the same time so i can share some of my frustration some of my rage with y'all and hopefully it helps you guys let out some of yours at the same time but all in all man 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you possibly could i understand that it's rebrain it's kind of hard considering the fact that it's her of all characters but again let me know your thoughts on it your thoughts on her moves her unique ones like the rebrain lovely showtime and the pretty canon um eternal love as well let me know what you guys think about that and the fact that she seems to be getting special treatment as a dlc character at the same time until next time again thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed it, and i hope you have a good day Hey, Shao.